It's fruity fresh. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have the, well, one of the, or the most important single malt whiskey, scotch whiskey bottle in the world. Ah, which is this? Well, it's the Glenfiddich 12 years old. And why? Because Glenfiddich was for years and decades the company which sold the most single malt whiskey all around the world. Um, last year or the year before, I think they were beaten by Glenlivet, but uh, I'm not quite sure if this is true. Um, I haven't seen the figures in detail. And uh, Glenfiddich uh, was known to the public way. Well, they were very early in the market and they were known uh, for its green bottle with a pure malt statement on it and really it was a single malt not a pure malt which is well forbidden today to use the word pure on a scotch whiskey there had been <laughs> huge arguments in 2005 and then they changed to uh, to a single malt as the others uh, already had and uh, well then they made a big giant leap forward uh, because they changed from a no age whiskey which was typically seven to eight years old to a 12 year old and this for a company which sold the most the biggest amount of single malt whiskey bottles worldwide this was a, a giant step and well they they were able to do it because Glenfiddich is a privately owned company so they are proprietors there the family is uh, managing the company and they have a, a, a look forward in decades and generations and not only managers who say well we have to to sell without an aid statement now so this is a, a big plus for Glenfiddich that they started uh, to bring their flagship malt uh, to 12 years of age. <clears throat> so here uh, I have a, a set which is a wonderful gift and I have no idea how to open that. Perhaps here in the top. Yes! Lost. unpacking this is modern so here we have the box with the 12 year old and then there is a 15 year old I tasted that already here in front of the camera uh, search for that 12 year old which was produced in a Solera kind of mixture then there is this wonderful 18 year old really really good and then there is a glass I think yes a typical nosing glass one of the smaller ones uh, because Glenfiddich is one of the lighter whiskies so smaller ones smaller glasses fit better um, uh, Glenfiddich has this triangular shape of its bottle and this stands for the three elements not really uh, the three ingredients in this bottle there's barley there is water and there's fire to distill the barley um it's 40 percent abv and there are bottles of every size on the market um and uh, well, after 12 years, our signature single malt has complex balanced flavors with elegant notes of fresh pear and supple oak, making this the world's favorite single malt scotch whiskey. Skillfully crafted, enjoy responsibly. Uh, one of the important things with the production of Glenfiddich 
is the direct firing of the stills. They have a huge number of stills and they were fired by coal in the past and when I first visited Glenfiddich there was still some coal lying around um, and uh, today they changed to to natural gas I think yes and uh, well, the rummager in the stills moving around so that the uh, the small particles left uh, from the mash and from the wash are not sticking to the walls of the still. This typically leads to a more intense whisky and um, the smaller stills uh, have um, well a more intense influence on the whisky as well because the, the small height of the stills does not allow the uh, the column of alcohol vapor to separate uh, undisturbed because the uh, moving surface of the boiling pot uh, disturbs uh, the the vapor on top so this is always mixed and more uh, taste ingredients are moving over into the final spirit but uh, here you're saying well this one is uh, quite light and I say yes because Glenfiddich has a noble problem they are selling every single drop of their malt whiskey as single malt and so they have to mix all their casks the first fill first second and third fill cast together so that the typical style is a little bit less intense and this is well more mass compatible and this might be the reason why they are so successful it's fruity fresh and light and vanilla and pleasant and yeah but the the spiciness of oak or what they say a light oakiness no no not yet it's fruity and it's light fruity and to say well this is pears or apples or whatever mm, i can't say pleasant in the mouth as well and there is yeah a light spiciness from the oak coming up it's malty really malty and a little sweet malt sweetness and caramel sweetness and it's harmonic there's some spiciness coming from the back but no bitterness at all and so this one is really mass compatible this is a wonderful, easy sipping, quaffable, <laughs> quaffable uh, single malt whiskey. It's dangerously sipping. Yeah, be careful. And uh, the aftertaste, well, it's gone now. So there's a demand for more. And probably, probably, a small hint of peat smoke but as far as I know there's no peat uh, used for drying the malt so this might be one of the natural phenols in the uh, in the barley corn or it comes from the burning of the inside of the casks they said there are some sherry casks mixed in well might be uh, definitely uh, i'm sorry it's colored but it's so friendly yeah mm -hmm. the expert is missing edges and intensity and spiciness and whatever um, but that's not the point this one is a whiskey for the masses it has to be uh, comfortly um, 
And uh, if you want to have more flavor, more intensity, then go over to the 15 year old or to the 18 years old uh, or even higher to a 30 years old or there's 21 in between uh, uh, finished in Caribbean rum casks. Wow. And then of course 40 years old and even older uh, these privately owned company they have stocks and they well they know what they are able to ask for um, but uh, they are still able to deliver um, and yes we have to honor them that they have spread the malt whiskey the single malt whiskey all around the world and uh, yeah if you're in a bar and there are several blends and this Glenfiddich 12 years old and there's nothing else then go for the Glenfiddich yeah Thank you very much for watching, stay tuned, there's more to come and as always feel free to add your comments to our whiskey database on whiskey.com.